Jared Murphy with Marcus Murphy. Today I want to talk more specifically in depth about loan modifications and why so many of them aren't getting approved. At first this was puzzling to me as I was delving into the research behind why they weren't getting approved. If you think about it, why wouldn't a bank lower your interest rate so that they can help you be able to stay in the home and eventually pay off the full balance of what's owed? That would make logical sense, correct? Well here's why um, so many of them aren't getting improved and kind of the logic behind it. See, when we think of, our, of the bank that we're making the payments to, we think that they actually own that mortgage. That isn't the case in most of, most of the situations. In fact, the bank that we're paying the mortgage to, it's very, very likely that they don't own that loan at all and they're just servicing it for an investor who bought it maybe as a package of loans way back when, whenever it was, the loan was originated, originally that bank had it and they sold it off to an investor who owns that loan. So now they're just acting as a servicer. And the way their financial incentives are set up as a servicer, whether you're paying the mortgage or not, the money for servicing for that month is owed to them. So they don't always have a vested interest in helping you get a loan modification. They have a vested interest and stringing as long as possible, maybe even getting a workout program started that can delay the foreclosure so that they can get paid more money for servicing. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Sounds different than what you might think, but this is a lot of what's going on. A lot of banks, you know, are stringing this out on a loan modification. Eventually you get denied. And you know what? For based on what their financial incentives are, it makes a logical sense when you understand that that's how their incentives are. Now some things are changing so that can't happen and most of the banks and other investors are pushing things towards short sales because the end investors who are owning those notes don't like that situation and all the people who are in that situation who get told oh you can get a loan modification then end up getting denied for, for really dumb reasons. They don't like that situation either. So that is what's going on with loan modifications. We wish it weren't the case because it would seem like that would be the best fit for most people and what they need. They just need a lower interest rate that they can afford to be able to keep them in the home that they love. So um, that, that's the reason why that's not happening and why short sales is the major route that most people are going and needing to go in order to get their home right side up or get into a situation where they own a home that's right side up. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Jared Murphy with Marcus and Murphy. Our whole goal is to earn your business. We want to become your trusted real estate advisors for life. We want to help put you in a situation with your home right side up and get you and your family back on track. And you know, if you're in this situation, bring the color back in your life. Thank you so much.